Good day everyone, it's David here, Arif Shop. Uh, today I'm going down a bit of a tangent, really just um, to talk about some stuff that you find on eBay and Amazon. Now, during the course of my um, of the videos that we're doing on YouTube, you get a lot of questions and comments and people say, well, can you do a strip down or tear down of some of these antennas that you get online from random suppliers? Um, now, I, I have my tablet in front of me and I have two, two screenshots here. One shows uh, um, something on Amazon. Uh, it's an antenna that has 35 dBi gain, right next to what happens to your pointing antenna. So it's ironic, but it shows the price difference and yet the gain is so much lower on the pointing antenna. Um, and then on the eBay version of the screen that I have in front of me, I have a, an Omni antenna, which uh, another channel just um, opened up earlier this week and um, obviously found that it's, it's bogus, but they already know that, that, that right from the start. Um, but you have again a 35, uh, 49 and a 28 dB gain antenna. Um, now, of course, I was tempted to buy one just for the sake of showing it and, and to see how bad it can be. But then I thought to myself, it's not even worth spending money on these antennas. Um, I, I guess if I want to make a really short video, I could just tell you, don't buy them. Have a good day. Goodbye. Uh, I just want to keep a bit more going, but that's really it. That's all there is to it. So there's no surprise factor. I'm not going to hold you on here and say, oh, is this all good? And then suddenly say, no, it's not. I can tell you now, this is not possible. Um, first of all, we all know when it comes that cheap and the numbers are supposedly ridiculously high, um, there must be something wrong. And um, I guess just a very basic um, rule of thumb just to share thinking about this is a dipole antenna as big as this uh, say say this um right wavelength at one gig is 30 centimeters a dipole which is just the basic omni antenna the element that you would use in your yogis on your roof even for your tv uh, in a yogi or even in a, a log periodic dipole array there's the word again um that's always the fundamental building block is a dipole of that length so you have a thing that's half wavelength so at one gigahertz which is on the lower end of your 4g frequencies not the lowest even so it even goes bigger than that you look at the dipole that's half wave so that would be 15 centimeters long so a 15 centimeter long dot pole, which is your most basic building block for an antenna, has 2 dB gain because it goes all around. So it works here, it works there, it works everywhere. If you want to get uh, something that is double as good, so 3 dB, so you add 3 dB gain to the antenna, you have to make it double the size. So two dot poles, very roughly, as I say, don't, don't hold me, uh, hold this against me that I'm numerically not absolutely perfect, but you'd be 5 dB. To get another 3 dB better, in other words, 3 dB is double better, so you would have to be, this is the size now, plus another double this, so this, one, two, so suddenly you have four of these, so the thing will be this long, in order, this long means um, 60 centimeters roughly, at one gig, to be a, um, what did I say, 2 plus 3 plus 3, 8 dB gain, order of magnitude. If it's less or more, I mean, there could be design parameters done, there could be some tricks pulled, but getting to well above 8 dB, say if somebody says, well, this is 12 dB, that's just too good to be true. So then you have the question. And see, now I'm actually talking about the number that's 12 dB, and I say that's too good to be true for an Omni that's 60 centimeters high at one gig. Yet these things on eBay are, um, I mean, they're, they're not much bigger than 10, 20, 10, 10 15 centimeters. Um, and they claim numbers that are four times, three times, four times higher than um, numbers that are, so it's 35, 49. Um, I can't even go into the explanation of how this is not possible or how wrong this is, because it's everything is wrong about making a statement. All I wanted to do is give you context that an antenna that's 60 centimeters high, if it's a linear omni, would give you that, that eight dB kind of number in a perfect design. Um, there's always sacrifices, even more so worse. Um, one thing that is then just astonishing, and I did a video um, two weeks ago, to, um, is on cables and cable losses. You just look at the cables, that's, that's not even the um, CLF195 type cable that I mentioned that I consider lossy. This is smaller than that, so the cable here is even more lossy, so yeah, I mean if it's really bad quality cable you'd lose that 35 db just just there and then with all the um the the nonsense that's going on there 
that's me. Um, that's just me. And I, I, I was tempted and I'm just going to say out now, I'm not going to buy one of these because I don't want to um, let somebody make money out of, out, of, um, out, of, out of us or hopefully any of you for, for having something like this. Now, one question or comment I did get from a, um, a customer a while ago when he walked in and I kind of had this kind of um, uh, lashing out against the antenna. They said, yeah, but it still works. Okay, so if the antenna still works, it means you're actually in a good signal area. Because if this antenna actually does a job, it means there's so much more power and energy still in the air that you can actually take something as bad as this and you still get it into your modem. Imagine you put a pointing antenna on the X-Pol 2. Imagine you put a proper lock periodic or Yagi antenna on. How much further you would have gotten if, if, if this little thing even does a job. So it's not the fact that this thing is doing a job that you get a signal. It's the fact that there's so much still around you that even as something as bad as this does a job. So um, you have to flip this thinking around. And I don't know if this makes sense. I hope it does. If it doesn't, please um, leave a comment. Let me know so I can clarify and I can have a follow-up video again. But I um, kind of hope I don't have to talk about these things again ever. <laughs> uh, other than that, um, I really want to thank you all for watching this channel. And um, certainly keen to... Um, grow the channel and, and grow the conversation so have you, if you have any comments or questions or you have any ideas or something else that we need to talk about in this context I'm happy to um, to have a listen and, and, and get that up and running um, other than that, um, yeah, well as I say thanks for watching, do visit our website rfshop.com.au uh, feel free to email us feel free to call us if you are in Australia um, hope to see you soon thanks for watching, bye bye